Just got done riding the Burton Park Attack size 150. Some Genesis bindings. This thing is super fun. It's got the camber shape. It's not your traditional camera though. It's a little bit softer, more playful. Super fun in the park. Still can get some nice solid butters in there. And yeah, I love this thing. It rips. And I would definitely be interested in buying this one. It's solid. Burton 2016 flight attendant. So this will be your free ride board. Uh, tapered directional shape on this board, and it's going to be a um, directional camber as well. So you have camber underneath your back feet, and then it's going to go to an early rise uh, tip. So obviously, really good in, in deep snow. Also, can work really well on the groomers and kind of more uh, uneven surfaces. So, really good all around free ride board. Uh, probably not the best in the park, but does everything else really well. It's happening again. It's happening again. It's happening again. It's happening again. Got the new Vocal RTM 84 here, uh, rode it in the 177 length. Um, they completely redesigned the ski this season. It's definitely a um, significant decrease in volume here. It looks like a lot of their V-Works skis, they're kind of using that construction in their recreational skis now. Um, softer underfoot than previous ones. Got the camber back in there, a little bit of tip rise. Super easy to initiate carves, it worked really well on um, kind of fast groomers and then also kind of in some chunder, some dust on crust. Skied really well, impressed, it's nice. Got the, uh, the Smith IO7 goggle here and the gold Solex lens, perfect, the VLT7 I think. Uh, great for sunny conditions like this here at the Demo Mammoth. Um, also rocking the Gage helmet, really nice skate style helmet, pretty low profile. Great audio compatibility as well. Um, love the combo, seamless gap as you can tell, just not there. Good stuff from Smith. Just got off the Burton Custom Flying V 154. This thing is super soft and playful, perfect for the park. You can jump right into the powder right after too. Super fun, super playful. It's got the EST system, so there's no dead spots on it. Super flexible. I love this thing, super fun. Nick here from Hanson's at the Mammoth Demo. Got the uh, the line Sick Day Tourist. It's a 186 length, 102 underfoot. It's a new ski for them. It's got the cloud core. So it's really lightweight, still yet really damp. Uh, really, really nice, kind of more of a free, like all mountain free ride style ski. Flat tail, a little bit of camber, early rise in the tip. Um, they're marketing it as a full like backcountry tool. Definitely fits that, but works uh, at the resort well. Yeah, had a lot of fun on it. Great ski.
Burton 2016 Talent Scout. It's a really great women's board here. It's going to be Pure Pops Camber. What it is basically, it's going to be camber in between the bindings, and it's going to go to early rise a little earlier than your normal uh, camber boards. Um, really great graphic this year. It's going to be our off axis as well. So we're just going to have a left foot and a right foot. So a definitive heel side edge and toe side edge when you're riding this board. Really great technology built into it. Really good all around board. <laughs>
with, uh, you can see all this cool stuff going on here. Um, there's a wood and metal laminate on the edge of the ski. The, the nano light core profile in the middle is going to really lighten the swing weight of the ski, lighten the ski overall. Um, the metal out at the edges is going to really kind of transfer that energy to the ski. Um, the whole kind of concept these days is just kind of getting a lighter ski that still skis like a big burly wood core ski. Um, kind of narrowed tip profile here is better for variable snow conditions. Again, lightening the swing weight in the tip and tail. Um, 95 is kind of the all mountain waist width these days that people are going for for like the one ski quiver. Uh, camber underfoot, little early rise rocker in the, in the tip there. Ski won tons of awards. Um, every ski test in the country raved about this ski. Uh, this thing coming in at 699.95 is um, is gonna do really great for that all mountain performance for an intermediate advanced skier. One ski to do it all from K2.